New at six, a local civil rights attorney demands West Mifflin police fire two of its officers. It all stems from an Instagram video that he claims captures the officers allegedly assaulting his young client on her school bus. KDKA's Megan Schiller just learned the attorney wants the DA involved. Megan. That's right, Susan. The attorney is asking for the district attorney to step in. Now, the DA's office tells me they cannot comment on this case yet, especially because it involves a juvenile. But Wes Mifflin's police chief tells KDKA he can't talk about the case, but he did say it all started with a fight on the school bus involving two high school girls. And the West Mifflin superintendent tells me the bus driver called 911 because the fight broke out while they were on the road, and that's when the officers came on board. The superintendent tells me somehow one juvenile made contact with an officer's face and that's when he tried to restrain her. Take a look at the video posted on Instagram by that juvenile's attorney. In the video you can see two officers trying to restrain the 15 year old girl. The one officer pulls the braids of the girl and her head yanks back. That's when all the other students start yelling and they try to intervene, asking the officer to leave her alone and to not pull her hair. The second officer appears to try to hold her one arm behind her back and then puts handcuffs on her. The district tells me both girls face disciplinary action and that this happened on December 18th. Now, attorney Paul Jumbas, he wrote on Instagram saying that his 15 year old client was brutally assaulted by West Mifflin police. Quote, they sprayed her blood all over her fellow students and incited riot like conditions on a school bus. He names the two officers allegedly seen in the video and continued saying he demands the immediate firing of all the officers. Now, the attorney also said that he plans to turn all of this over to the district attorney. He said we ask the district attorney to review the eyewitness videos to determine whether one or both of the West Mifflin police officers should be criminally charged. Now, I also just talked with West Mifflin solicitor, attorney Phil DeLucente. He tells me while he cannot comment on the pending criminal charges because it involves a juvenile, he said the police officers acted appropriately at all times. Now, we'll keep you posted as the story develops, since the attorney claims there's still a portion of the video he's not releasing yet. Megan Schiller, KDK News.